All right, everybody, uh, welcome back for another Deep Dive. Today we're going to be talking about uh, Tyler Childers and specifically his recently announced 2025 tour. Oh, yeah, this is a big one. Yeah, we've got an article here that uh, details everything that we know so far. It's a pretty exciting tour. It is. 27 stops all across the U.S. Wow. Culminating in a mega show at Kroger Field in Lexington, Kentucky. Oh, wow. His home turf. Yeah. So that's really exciting. Yeah. I know he's done some pretty big shows in Kentucky before, but yeah. nothing quite this massive. Nothing quite like Kroger Field. No, that's that's something else. Yeah. And uh, for that Kentucky show, the lineup is pretty amazing. Oh, yeah. Tell me about it. Winona Judd's going to be there. No way. Which is incredible. About legend. Yeah. She's a, you know, she's a country music royalty at this point. Absolutely. Been around forever. And, uh, and then also S.G. Goodman is going to be performing. Oh, wow. I love her. Yeah, she's really great up and coming, uh, kind of like Americana country. I don't yeah. even know what genre you'd call it. Oh, she's fantastic. Yeah. But she's got a great voice. Incredible voice. Yeah, really powerful. Um, but yeah, I think the most interesting thing about this tour is that Childers is really taking a stand against ticket scalping. Yeah. Um, he's partnering with Ticketmaster and AXS to cap resale prices at face value. That's huge. Yeah. I mean, we've all seen it. These like, these inflated prices, these scalpers just, you know, buying up all the tickets and then yeah. just selling them for ridiculous amounts. It's awful. Yeah, it really shuts out the, the real fans, you know, the people who actually want to go and see the show. Especially for someone like Tyler Childers, who it, it, his music is so rooted in in you know real people's stories and yeah absolutely working class struggles and that kind of thing mm -hmm. it feels especially egregious when yeah. you see those tickets going for hundreds and hundreds of dollars yeah it's not so i think it's really cool that he's trying to combat that yeah i mean it's a big statement you know he, he's really putting his money where his mouth is so to speak yeah um and it shows that he really cares about his fans yeah it's definitely refreshing to see an artist that's putting the fans first like that. Absolutely. Um, and, and actually, speaking of putting others first, uh, he's also doing something really cool with, with the ticket sales. Oh, yeah. A dollar from every ticket sold is going to be donated. And it's going to be split between the Hickman Holler Appalachian Relief Fund and Reviewer. Oh, wow. That's fantastic. Yeah. So Hickman Holler, for people who don't know, it's an organization that he founded with his wife, Senora May. And it's really focused on addressing some of the, the unique challenges that Appalachian communities are facing. Right. Things like poverty and lack of health care access and yeah. environmental degradation. Yeah, it's a really important cause. Yeah, and then Revere is all about sustainability in the music industry. Yeah, they're doing some great work. Yeah, they work with artists and venues to reduce yeah. their environmental impact. So things like waste reduction, responsible sourcing carbon offsets, that kind of thing. Yeah, I mean, it's a movement that's really gaining traction these days. You know, more and more artists are starting to realize the impact that they have, and they're using their platform mm. to try to make a positive change. Yeah, for sure. And and it's really cool to see Childers sort of, you know, aligning himself with yeah with that kind of movement. Yeah, it all ties together, really. You yeah. know, I mean, this tour, it's more than just a series of concerts. Yeah. It's like a statement, you know. It's about the music, of course, but it's also about community and about supporting those in need mm -hmm. and acknowledging the responsibility that we all share for the planet. Yeah, it's it's really powerful. And, and it kind of makes you wonder, is this a sign of things to come? Mm -hmm. You know, is this a shift in the music industry mm -hmm. where we're going to see artists being more actively engaged in mm. social and environmental causes? I hope so. Yeah, I think it's a really positive trend, if so. Yeah, me too. Um, but yeah, I think that's about all we have time for today, but, uh, you know, we'd love to hear your thoughts. What do you think about Tyler Childers approach to this tour? Do you think this is a sign of a changing music industry? Let us know in the comments below and we'll see you next time.